studying one way two parted by Lord Byron. Here's how you can analyse this poem. The poem is written in four stanzas, one, two, three, four, and this creates a feeling of finality. The title of the poem is repeated in the first line and this repetition shows his feeling of grief. The speaker uses the words silence, tears and broken hearted, which belong to the semantic field of heartbreak to show his sadness. The repetition of the word thy, which means you, shows that the speaker is addressing their lover. Pathetic fallacy is used in the second stanza to create a gloomy mood. The speaker says thy vows are all broken. Vows relates to wedding vows. This shows that maybe their lover was not supposed to be in a relationship with them. They were committing sin. The speaker feels ashamed and this is shown in the sibilance of share and shame. And what this is showing is that they secretly feel really guilty about how things have turned out. The repetition of me in the third verse shows that the focus is now shifting to the speaker reflecting on themselves. The speaker asks the rhetorical question, why were they so dear? And this rhetorical question shows that they don't understand why they got so emotionally invested in this relationship. The speaker says, who knew thee too well, which is a euphemism for the sexual relationship that he had with this person. They mention secret, silence and deceive in the fourth stanza. And this belongs to the semantic field of dishonesty, which clearly shows that they weren't supposed to be in this relationship. The speaker doesn't know how they would act if they saw this person again and they wonder, how should I greet thee? This rhetorical question shows that they have suddenly had to cut complete contact. They end by showing their sadness, mentioning silence and tears, which is a repetition of line number two in the poem, which shows that they are feeling a lot of grief over the end of this relationship.